One question often have been asked is how many devices are inactive or with no SSM client present so that we can get this list of devices for remediation. In this video, we will understand logically how we can get this set of devices through WQL by creating a collection as well as if we are just looking to get the list of devices then by using the pre-existing report we can get this list of devices. Before moving forward, if you are new to this particular channel or yet to subscribe then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is your host Yagnesh Malavia welcoming you. To get the device status, we will go to configuration manager console within the asset and compliance, we can click on devices. Here we will get the entire list of devices and within that client activity, we will see the status of device, whether it's active or inactive. If we want to just filter the devices directly over here, then we can create add criteria and I can select client activity, add over here it's inactive and I can search where I will get only the devices where the client activity is inactive. However, if I'm looking to create a collection so that I can align some remediation plans, then I can do a right click on a device collection and create device collection. Over here, I will enter name, inactive clients, limiting collection. I need to define the collection from where it's going to pull the devices. So I will say all systems and next. Here membership rule, I will click on add rule and query rule. So if you're looking to get more understanding on this membership rule and collections, I have created a separate video and I will share the link in this description where you will get all the details on this particular topic. So I will mention query rule and here we'll write inactive clients and edit query statement. The alternate option is I can use the pre-existing criteria. For that, I will again click on edit query statement and here I will type criteria. Here I need to define the criteria what needs to be checked. So as I come over here on this particular screen, we mentioned the criteria as client activity which is over here should be inactive. So similar thing we need to define. So again, I will go over here in inactive clients. I will just bring this window a little down, edit query statement, I'll bring it on this side and I will click on criteria here, new criteria. So I need to mention the attribute class. So here there are multiple options. Logically, I was thinking that this is the SSM client that we are looking for. So if I just enter the client, I'm getting few options. So if I click on client action status, further it's giving me more information on attribute. So I'm looking for client activity, which is not present. So let me check any other attribute class. So here I am seeing client status. So let me check over here. I will click on attribute. Here it's giving client activity. This client activity which is present over here and makes a lot more sense. So I'll click on this. I will click OK. And here operator is equal to, I will keep it as it is. Here value, I will click on value and it's giving me zero and one. So these are the predefined values as per the information that is available. So I will click on zero, OK, OK. Now, it has written the query statement over here. I will click on OK. OK. So our query rule is set. Let me click next and next. So we have created a collection with the name inactive clients. Let's go to the device collection and we will see inactive clients collection. Yeah, it is created. However, it's zero members. It's refreshing. So let us check other option, which is through reporting how we can get it. For that, I will go to monitoring and within that reporting. I can expand the reports. If we are familiar with the which particular report we are looking for, then we can directly browse over there. So 
I know it's a client status, so I will go to client status. If we are not familiar, then we can directly go to reports and we can just think what type of product we are looking to search. As we are looking for inactive clients, I will write inactive and search. So it's giving me two options where inactive client details and category, which is client status. So it's getting the information from this particular folder, which is client status. I will click on inactive client status and here from which particular collection I want it. So I will enter all systems. OK and view report. So over here, I'm getting the entire list of devices. Let me export as CSV. And let me save it. So over here on screen, I'm seeing inactive clients detail, which we have exported to the reporting, which is 7592. And if I just check the exit cells, which are having the device name, which is 7586 and, and the same device count, which is 7586, we are seeing it in this inactive clients collection. Now this is only showing the inactive clients. If we go into the all systems and there are devices where the client shows as not present like this one TS blank or TASS 01 where the client is not present as well as it's not having any status now as the devices are not inactive neither they are active but because the client is not present this set of devices will not be reported in inactive clients and if you want to get this set of devices how we can get it let's check for that now, if I want to see devices which is having no SSM client present, then I can use a pre-existing query rule. For that, I will go to device collection and here right click device collection. Now, I will say that devices with no client. Let me set the limiting collection as all systems. Next, I will add query rule here instead of using edit query statement I will use import query statement as I said it's a pre-existing here it's all non-client systems so where there is no SSM client installed that's the query which is by default created I will use ok let me give a name no. here I will just have a check on edit query statement here we are seeing the criteria which is set as system resource client is equal to zero and system resource client is null. Here if I click on preview, I will get the devices which we are looking for. So let's have a preview and it's giving me four devices, TS blank, TS SA01. So there are a couple of more devices where there's no SSM client present, which is showing the NetBIOS name and the name and more information. So it's good. Let me proceed ahead with this particular query. So I'll press OK, OK, next, next, and close. So we should see the collection devices with no client and it's refreshing. It's done, however, it's not showing membership count, which is not usual. So let me reconfirm whether we have added the query. So I will do a right click query, right click properties, no client install, edit, edit query statement, right area here. If we preview it and run it, we are seeing the result. So as the results are there, this should work. let me do a right click and update membership because this is not usual yeah it may be that it has just taken a while to get an update so devices with no SSM client and if I click on show members we are getting the devices where the client is not present 
So these are the four devices where the clients are not present and client activity is null. So these are the devices which aren't inactive clients but with no SSM client. So probably the remediation can be lined up for this couple of collections which we have created for inactive clients and devices with no client. So these are the things that we mentioned at the start of the video by creating collections and through monitoring pre-existing report how we can get the devices so that we can plan for remediation. So if you are liking the content, the knowledge that I'm sharing, then please like and comment because your likes and comments are really encouraging me to come up with more knowledge videos on MECM. If you are yet to subscribe, then please click subscribe so that you get more updates on this. With this, this is Yagnesh Malavya thanking you for watching this video.